Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Pram Reviews. So today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers The Last Night Mission to Cybertron Deluxe Class, the Decepticon Tyrant himself, Megatron. Yeah, it's a Deluxe Megatron, of course, yeah. <laughs> so, let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man, let's go! And here is Megatron fully transformed into his stealth bomber jet mode thing and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And uh, now, now truth be told, this is actually my first time owning this mold. Um, so uh, I saw this guy and Skulltron in, in Toys R Us in my country, uh, I think it was in Empire, yeah, the, the shop was called Empire, the mall was called Empire. So I went to Toys R Us of that mall and I saw both Skulltron and Megatron and I had to get both of them because they look pretty cool. And uh, I never got this mold so I had to buy it and, and Skulltron because I had to buy Skulltron yeah, as well because he looked so creepy that that head sculpt was just... Whew. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I bought this guy, and uh, it's a really cool figure, in my opinion. Now, this guy is the, uh, is a, a uh, recolor, slight remold of the original um, generation slash thr Thrilling 30 Deluxe Class uh, Megatron, which is based off of uh, the IDW Megatron design. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool uh, ultimate right here. And it's nice that they actually, uh, you know, colored uh, this Megatron to make him look like uh, the last night Megatron so they actually put in the color scheme of the last night Megatron which is pretty cool in my opinion so so you get some nice uh, I'm not sure what this color is I think this is gold or or mustard <laughs> I don't know it looks like it kind of looks like uh, mustard and as Emgo always says he, he says that this is spicy mustard he may he might be right he might be right about this being spicy mustard, I don't know, but <laughs> but it kind of looks like gold paint to me, I don't know, but anyway, um, got some nice purple paint for the windows and windshields, and uh, and it's kind of weird that these wings, you know, they're not the same color because this is translucent plastic, you know, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, it's done in a uh, uh, orange translucent plastic, they painted it over, so of course it wouldn't match uh, perfectly, but ah uh, well, it's what it is. And you got the Cybertronian writing, which actually translates to Megatron. So this is actually Megatron's name in Cybertronian writing, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the Stealth Bomber is actually, you know, nice and flat. <laughs> nice and flat. Um, he, does have, uh, he does have a landing gear, so you can actually flip up or, you know, flip down, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, really nicely done alt mode in my opinion, so... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing much to write home about with this uh, ultimate. It's actually pretty simple, very nice and simple. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty cute. So let's get down to some size comparisons. Here is Megatron compared with the last night deluxe class barricade, with the Decepticon Berserker, with his wave mate Skulltron, with the last night Voyager class Megatron, and as you can see. They kind of replicated the colors, you know, pretty well, you know, yeah, yeah, you can see the colors are pretty much the same, except for the wingtips. <laughs> Those wingtips are not the same color as, as this color, but hey, they did a pretty good job, you know, replicating the color scheme, you know, from, from this Megatron to this Megatron, so that's pretty cool. So let's move on to the final size comparison for today. Speaking of which, here is uh, the Lux Megatron uh, compared with the Last night's leader class Megatron. So you can see how they scale with one another. Yeah, he's very, very puny. Um, so, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Actually, one more here is Megatron compared with the Legion class Megatron from the last night. And as you can see, oh, the Legion class Megatron is so tiny. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so, he's so tiny. He's just a little tiny jet. Oh, that's so precious. So, <laughs> so that is pretty much. So now that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it for the Stealth Bomber Ult mode. So let us transform Megatron into his robots mode. Now the transform, now the transformation on this guy is actually very, very, very simple. So first thing you want to do, you want to do some uh, some parts forming. Uh oh, 
Uh, people are gonna be mad at this. Yeah, people are gonna be mad at this because it's parts forming. So anyway, so yeah, so we now can uh, form the cannon right here. So just uh, bring this out, and there we go. Slide that out, and just put down the peg, and just slide that out. There we go. And these will just combine together, and this will make the fusion cannon, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this off to the side, and we shall begin. So to flip down the landing gear first. You want to untap the arms from the sides, just like so. Untap them from the sides, flip out the hands, flip out the fists, just like so. And just flip out this panel, flip out that panel, and just rotate it up, rotate that up, rotate this around so the elbows are oriented properly, rotate that around so that the elbows are oriented properly, and this is getting caught. Why is this getting caught? What the heck? <laughs> so, there you go, there you have that. So now you want to take the legs right here, just rotate them down, rotate them around, straighten it up, and just flip out the feet, and flip out the heel spur, just like so, and there you have the legs uh, all done right there. Uh, I mean, you have one leg all done, so the same thing on the other side, just untap that, bring this down, and just rotate it around, straighten it up, and just flip out the foot. And there you have both legs all done and ready. So, hey, look at that. Girl stealth bobber. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Anyway, just untap this and untap that. And just make sure you rotate this off to the side. So you have your clearance to flip all this down. And these two slots will go over that, these two tabs. Just bring this down just like so. And this doesn't really want to work with me. Why doesn't want to work with me? Anyway, so <clears throat> work with me here. Work with me, uh, Megatron. There we go. Bring this up. Bring that would tab into place, just like so. And bring that up. Tab into place. Just make sure it's all tabbed in. And there you go. And just bring all this down, just like so. This doesn't want to work with me. How dare you, how dare you. There we go, just bring it down, tap that in, and just situate the arms just like so. Make sure he's standing straight. And let me raise up the camera. I mean, let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see the full robots. So I think we are done, are we done? Yes, we are done. So there you have Mr. Megatron. Fully transformed into his robot's mood. He looks pretty good, I will say. He looks really, really freaking good. I really dig the color scheme. You know, I, I love the purple uh, plastic they use for the hands and the, uh, the crotch piece right here. And uh, it looks like he's uh, being powered with dark energy, and I do quite like that. And a lot of uh, uh, what did MGO call this color? Uh, spicy mustard. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of uh, yeah, spicy mustard um, on the figure, which is really nice, or, or maybe gold. I don't know. But anyway, so uh, let's get closer. So we can take a look at that head sculpt, and they did a really good job in making the head sculpt, making uh, uh, like making the head sculpt look like the uh, the last night uh, Megatron head sculpt, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Nice red for the eyes. You know, some uh, light gray paint for the uh, the face right there. Yeah, really nicely done head sculpt, I will say. Decepticon symbol on the chest right there. Focus camera. Um, so, uh, yeah, really nicely done robot mode. And until you get to the back, yeah, of course, the hollow legs, hollowness, well, it's the back. I don't care about looking at this. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. No, um, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, it's nice that he doesn't really have a backpack. The backpack is pretty much flat, so that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, very nicely done robot mode, I will say so myself. So now for articulation in robot mode, his head is on a ball joint, so it can look, uh, it has a wiggly wiggly, uh, like it's, it's a very tight ball joint. Um, he can technically rotate his head at full 360, but the ball joint is pretty tight, so I'm not gonna risk uh, breaking the ball joint. Uh, the shoulders, they can rotate a full 360, it can move in and out. You do have a bicep swivel. You do have an elbow joint, about slightly under 90 degrees of band, and the hands can move inward due to transformation. And, uh, 
And you can see there is an extra hinge, you know, can actually move the arms up and down just like that, you know, if you want them to. Um, the legs can move up that far, can move back uh, that far, very, very far. Um, he can pretty much do the full splits if he wants to. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel, he does have a knee joint, and this kneecap can actually move as well. So, yep, can accommodate the leg movement. So, over 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet can actually move down uh, due to transformation. So, yeah, he can move up and down. No ankle tilts, unfortunately, because the feet are molded in a way that he stands in that natural A stance. Uh, unfortunately, no waist swivel as well. So, but that's uh, that's that's okay. It is what it is. It's not a big deal breaker for me anyway. I don't really need. Uh, I don't think I need a, a waist swivel that much. So, yeah. But um, if you really want to um, close the gaps, you know, you can actually bring these panels a bit closer, like that. You know, like that. If if, if you really want to, you can just force that in together. But. Me personally, I'm just gonna leave them out just like that, so yeah, that, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so yeah, overall, it's a really well done robot mode. Oh, wait, we forgot one thing. Oh no, we forgot the uh, the most important thing of this Megatron figure is the fusion cannon. We forgot to plug in the fusion cannon. Uh oh, so let us plug in the fusion cannon into his forearm, just like so. And there you go, he's now complete. Fully complete with the fusion cannon. It kind of sucks that the colors don't match, but ah oh well, it is what it is. But but yeah, overall, it's a really nicely done figure. I do quite like him. So let's get down to some size comparisons. Here is Megatron compared with the two deluxe Decepticons from the last night, Barricade and Berserker, with his wave mate Skulltron. And last but not least, with the other Megatrons from the last night. So we have the Legion class Megatron, the Voyager class Megatron, and the Leader class Megatron. So all in all, I have four Megatrons from the last night. <laughs> yeah, from the main line. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool that I have all these four Megatrons uh, from the last night. Um, three like with a similar design, but this one is completely different because it's a deluxe Megatron. What were they supposed to do? <laughs> but um, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. These figures are pretty cool in my opinion. So uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers the last night mission to Cybertron deluxe class. Megatron, that's a lot of words, but um, <laughs> um, yeah, really cool figure in my opinion. As a guy who had first experience with this mold, it's it's a nice mold right here. It's a nice Megatron mold, and uh, I really do quite like it. You know, the robot mode looks good. The stealth, the stealth bomber mode looks good. Kind of unfortunate that the colors, like for the wingtips and the actual uh, Megatron figure, they they don't match that well. But oh well, it is what it is. Um, the transformation, nice and smooth. So it's definitely. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, I will say, the transformation is nice and smooth, it's definitely an enjoyable figure to mess with, and I absolutely no, have no problems with the transformation. Uh, the articulation, uh, I think it's a you know, good decent amount of articulation. Uh, it would have been nice if we had ankle tilts and, uh, and a waist swivel, but I, I don't really need a waist swivel, so why would I need a waist swivel? <laughs> but um, yeah, but if he had ankle tilts, then it would, you know, it would, you know, yeah, it would have been so much better, but ah well, it's what it is. But still, he is nicely posable, nicely articulated, so uh, yeah, I do quite like uh, this figure a lot so yeah so as far as ranking this guy from a scale of 1 to 10 I think he deserves a good 9.5 out of 10 yeah it's a really really well done figure in my opinion so uh, yeah if you haven't seen this guy um, if you haven't gotten this guy um, do pick him up uh, somewhere anywhere um, well this is actually a Toys R Us exclusive so if your Toys R Us still has this guy on, on sale or, or in stock, um, go pick him up because he's definitely a highly recommended figure right here. So yeah, I do highly recommend this figure for you guys. So yeah, all right. So uh, 
And I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And uh, you can always check out my Transformers The Last Night Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I'll post links to that playlist in the description down below. And uh, I think that is pretty much it for me to say. So they have the Transformers The Last Night, Mission to Cybertron, Deluxe Class, Lord Megatron, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out. Yeah, yeah.